So welcome to this uh, camper van uh, overview. This is the Mercedes Sprinter. I believe it's called a Deuce 2. Uh, we rented it from a company called Mighty Campers here on New Zealand. And uh, it has been our home for these two weeks we have been here. So it's not a paid review or anything. I'm just uh, hoping to show you what it looks like and uh, maybe help you decide on what you can get if you want to go to New Zealand. So it's a pretty spacious camper van for two people. It's only certified for uh, two travelers, as it only has two seats. Uh, you can uh, sit in while you drive. Um, here in the front, it comes with a GPS, which is very handy when you are going uh, on a long New Zealand road trip. Um, the other features are pretty basic. It's got a radio and a CD player, um, and the transmission is automatic, so that's, uh, that's quite nice. We do recommend that you bring uh, one of these uh, USB chargers. Um, it's very handy when you go traveling and do long uh, bits of driving. And we'll get back to you on why this might be a lifesaver when you're on the road. So let's see what the cabin has to offer. So here on the right side of the van you have uh, the bathroom. It has pretty simple uh, facilities, it's just a toilet and a sink with a hose you can use as a shower and um, we've tried showering in here once and it worked out okay there's a drain on the floor and everything so it works just fine and the positive thing about it being so small is that you actually heat up the room pretty fast it has got a light which is pretty cold um, it does the trick when it's dark outside i mean you see it's it's basic that's the bathroom Here's the kitchen, uh, you can see here on my uh, side, it's got a tree top uh, gas burner stove, um, which is plenty to just do simple cooking and stuff in here. We do have the sink over here um, with both hot and cold water, depending if, you, depending if you're using the water heater here, which is uh, powered by gas. You also have the instrument panel here, uh, this is the water indication level, which you can see now is pretty low. Do you have your battery monitor and the different switches for the electrical units. So the fridge, the water pump, cabin lights, the ceiling lights, the television and the range hood, which is this guy. It does provide a good light for cooking. It also has a fan, which you can hear. The fan isn't too great, so be mindful of that. And other features on the kitchen, uh, basically you do have the fridge here, it's actually got pretty good capacity. Um, it takes a lot more stuff than I actually thought it would be able to. And on the top you have a freezer, we have tested it out and it works just fine. That's a good thing. Uh, also you do have the microwave, unfortunately it only works when you are plugged into a powered uh, camping site. So you need your... Uh, your 240 volt to be attached and uh, over here you have the cutlery drawer it has all the features you would expect when you come here uh, the aeropress is of course mine it doesn't come with that so just be keep that that in mind you do have some nice uh, deep uh, drawers here and a nice cabinet here and it also has the television but the television is a joke. It's basically the size of a big iPad, so you won't be watching too many hours on that one. Here's the uh, different uh, things you need to make yourself a nice dinner. It also has the French press if you want uh, coffee, the water heater and uh, different uh, facilities as you can see. Also comes with a cutting board. This is where you keep your trash, and here is some of the kitchenware you might need. Some glasses, plates, uh, different things. You have a toaster down there and a water boiler. And the water boiler and the toaster only works when you are uh, plugged in to a powered site as well. All along the top of the van you have these nice uh, cabin cabinets. And they aren't too deep, as you might be able to see. It's not very deep at all, 
but they do provide a nice width and the length makes it uh, able to you can just stuff a bunch of clothes in there or whatever. All along you also have these nice down lights, simple on and off turns here on the actual light. It does provide a nice warm uh, tone in the cabinet in the cabin when you are uh, when it's dark outside. So that's uh, pretty nice. And you can also see these uh, curtains tucked away uh, around the sides here. It does come with a little uh, bungee cord thing, which which keeps them in place while you're driving. So it's a nice feature. And they do cover up, I'd say, 100% of the uh, window areas. Um, might be. A little bit hard to like do the edges with them, but you get used to it. And um, this is a pro tip: these hair clips. You can use them to attach the different curtains like this, and you won't have any light leaks in between. So that's a tip. Back here is the uh, seating area. You do have this uh, swivel tabletop, which is uh, handy. Just. Uh, just remember to try to find a, like a horizontal flat parking space or else all your things will just slide across the table. So you should take your time uh, parking this uh, thing. So this seats at least us two. <laughs> Even more people if you want to bring uh, friends over. And uh, of course you just uh, use this tabletop to convert it into a bed. There's also another plate in the front of the vehicle just behind the driver's seat that you can use to have this whole area co covered. You take down these side uh, cushions and you get a pretty nicely sized bed for two people. I'm one winter and 85 centimeters and I can lie out flat without any problem. So it's been, uh, it's been nice. Uh, basically for the entirety of our trip we just kept it uh, as a bed to be honest because uh, it's much easier. You don't have to tuck away the bed linen and all of that stuff. And that provides you with an extra <laughs> storage uh, compartment underneath the bed here, which is pretty nice. And uh, overall storage is very good in this van. You can see here underneath the sofa, you do have these uh, cabinets, which are uh, very spacious. Here's one of the uh, pillows and some of the bedding. and. Uh, yeah, we have tucked away the duvets and the pillows, so it's not lack of uh, any space at least. We did travel to New Zealand with the uh, duffel bags, which I highly recommend you do too, because then you can just stuff them down here, it's underneath this pillow. And it's kind of hard to see, but it's a safe down there as well. So if you do have any valuables, you can just put it in the safe and you can feel a bit more comfortable about them. You do have a double power outlets here. Uh, it only works when you are uh, plugged into a powered campsite. So you won't be able to freedom camp like in the middle of nowhere uh, any on every day because you eventually will run out of power. And uh, yeah, the microwave and the other electrical kitchen supplies uh, runs off of uh, this. And if you do choose to rent this camper via the extra optional package you do get a fan heater it's tucked away behind the backpack here but it does provide some nice uh, heating uh, when it gets cold and you can also open the two back doors from the inside of the cabin which is a nice feature then you can just have the best view ever and uh, it's quite pleasant when you have a good morning a sunrise coming up and you can just open up the doors and enjoy your morning coffee from the sofa just slide open this door. As you can see here, this is one of the beauties of New Zealand when you travel in a camper van at least. You can just park whatever, open up your door and voila, there's your view. It's quite something. So here on the outside, uh, do have a few features that uh, is nice to mention. This is a diesel powered camper van. Uh, here in New Zealand, you need to pay a diesel tax it's six uh, New Zealand dollars for every 100 kilometers you drive. So like fueling up is cheaper with diesel, but you need to pay the tax. On the side of the van here, you do have the fresh water intake. Uh, it comes with a hose, so you can fill it up easily at the campsite. 
Here is the outdoor uh, barbecue. So it's uh, pretty decent to just uh, slide it out here. You do have two burners and you have quite a big uh, grilling area and it tucks away nicely. And here you see the uh, LED lights, which is controlled from the inside of the van. It lights up this place like it's daylight if you use it when it's pitch black. So this uh, gas burner is highly usable, even when it's dark outside. So, the back of the van, you have this huge double doors, which open up uh, nicely. And uh, the camper van came with uh, this camper table, two camper chairs, which are uh, tucked underneath there. And this is the hose you need to fill up your uh, fresh water tank. So it's a, it's a decent system. On the other side, this is a bit, bit cracked, but it, it works, it does the job. This is the water heater uh, run by the gas. Here is your uh, power intake, which you'll use when you are connected on a powered campsite. And uh, on the side here, you have your, uh, your gray water waste uh, pipe, which you simply open up over a uh, qualified uh, dump station and just get rid of all the water. Here's your gas. Remember to shut off the gas every time you're out the driving on the road. And in front here, is where you empty your toilet from. So it's the least delicate part of camping, but it has to be done. So that's it. Uh, this camper van has been a very fun uh, vehicle to uh, use when we've been here in uh, New Zealand. It's a comfortable place to stay. We have driven like 3,000 kilometers in this thing. So it has been a champ. Hope you like this video and uh, See you next time.